Good morning everyone. So unfortunately today is gonna be the last day in El Nido for us. It's gonna be the last video that we make in El Nido. Even more unfortunate the weather is terrible today. So check out this for some gloomy rainy weather. <laughs> Perfect. It might open up in a while. We was hoping to make a video of like going to, yeah, maybe a beach for the last time, but we'll have to see how it goes. But we also have to resolve a lot of stuff. So to leave Palawan and head to Manila, we got to get loads of different documents like health pass and travel pass and some other things. So yeah, we're going to be doing that today and yeah, bringing you guys along, showing you how that process is. Ready to leave, Carol? No? Well, I, don't th I don't think the cat wants you to leave. Yeah, he doesn't want... I, I was trying to do some work on, on my computer, but he keeps coming back to my belly. Yeah, this guy had different ideas, right? <laughs> Good bed, Carol? <laughs> So from what we understand, we need these four things here, so barangay certificate, quarantine clearance, travel authority, and MDRRMO stamp, which I have no, no idea what that is. So the first two, we've actually got it before to do the helicopter tour, they required it. So yeah, last time it was super quick, I think we had everything within like 30 minutes, so that part's okay. But yeah, still unsure where to get the, the last two. So yeah, we'll find out during today. So the weather still sucks, but at least it's not raining. <laughs> That's why we're making a move now. It was raining for like three or four hours straight, right? Yeah, I think since yesterday night, yeah. it was left and it was raining the whole time. Yeah, perfect last day. It's supposed to open up later on though. We'll we'll open find out. Up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's, it will open up. Yeah. Um, we've got the nice wet scooter seat. Mm -hmm. It's happened many times. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Get a wet butt. Here? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is quite the entrance. Yeah. I guess we crossed this. It wasn't like this the last time we came. No, no, we took park over there, but now they're doing like instructions. Yeah. Walk the plank. Whoa. <laughs> All right, walk the second plank. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Barangay Hall, the neighborhood captain. So we got both our certificates here. I think this is just basically confirming that we've been around here for 14 yeah. days, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, in this Barangay, Coron Coron Barangay. Yeah. And now we go to do the health check yes, for the health pass. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, part two. So this is already a bit of a mission. So it's actually already the next day because yesterday when we went to the health office, the nurse or doctor that needs to sign the health thing 
wasn't there so they told us to come back today and we just went there now but then we realized that they spelt carol's name wrong and her age wrong so um, they said that will cause a problem later on so we have to go back to the barangay office get the name corrected the age corrected and then go back to the the health office and uh, yeah get that document as well So give us the update. After an hour waiting, I, I still need to wait more for the barangay captain to arrive because I got the, the document from the, the secretary, but um, he has to need, sign it, yeah, right? We need his signature, so we're still waiting. We don't know when he's going to be here. I think he was supposed to be here already, but he's not here, or she, I don't know. Yeah, wait more. <laughs> Yeah, so I've just been sat here for an hour also, just waiting, watching these kids play. They invent loads of little games with their flip-flops. I think they were playing like baseball, but with their flip-flops. Yeah. So this is becoming one big mess really. So we got the correct certificate from the barangay. Then we went to the place to get their health check. And now they're saying that we had to go to the police station first, even though we've done it before and we know it's the... The health, we told them, but they were saying, no, 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 you go to the police first. And then we came here. And to the police say, station. Yeah, and they say we need to go back there and get the health certificate there. So. Yeah, I don't know what's the confusion about. Yeah, they've been doing this for ages, literally months now. And we've done it before for the helicopter tour. It was straightforward. We got everything in 30 minutes. Yeah, but... And now we're over 24 hours. We're still at square one. We haven't gotten anywhere at all. And these two departments are just telling us to go to each other first. And if you go to the tourism office, they, they basically lay out all the steps and it shows that you do have to get the health certificate before the police station. Yeah, they yeah this one. So, <laughs> what is going on? Anyway, we're going to the health place now and yeah, we're not leaving that place. We're getting that health certificate. We were at the police station, they were doing the travel authority for us, but then the electricity went out and they don't have any gasoline for the generator, so we're gonna get a bite to eat and then we'll go back and hopefully the electricity will be back so they can finish doing the documentation. So we decided we're gonna eat on the, the beach at this Filipino local place that's down here. What was the place called again? Happy Home? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check out Kadlao in the clouds. Even here. Oh yeah, here as well. <laughs> Looks pretty cool though. Yeah, the Philippines uh, provinces are certainly interesting. <laughs> Just dogs chilling out in the <laughs> police station. Yeah. No gasoline for their generators. <laughs> it's all part of the, the adventure. Certainly interesting to see. Definitely not organized though, but yeah, it's just pretty funny. Just gotta laugh. <laughs> So this is one of our favorite spots here for good, cheap food, right on the beach. Happy home restaurant. Hello, Hello. you open? Yeah. yeah. 
We got exactly the same food as the last time we came. So the fish steak, we both got that. And also some french fries and the Coca-Cola. And once again, this is why we like this place. Because you get an amazing view for an affordable price. So we also came here last year as well when tourism was normal and we ate here at night. They put like candlelight and it's dark so yeah, it's a really nice place to eat if you come here at night also. Over there? Okay. The one with the fire engine? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So we just made our final stop for documentation, the emergency response unit. So they just basically gave us this stamp here and this document was from the police, right? After a few hours the, the power went back and we were able to get our document from the police station and now we just did the final, the final step as you said. Yeah, it went pretty quick. And we're gonna do something pretty cool now. So the owner of the place that we just ate, the restaurant, he actually recognized us and he saw our video before that we actually showed his place. So he offered to take us to like his private property on an island. He's gonna get his security guy to pick us up by boat and take us there. Not island, it's a private beach, right? Yeah, it's still on the, main, on the mainland. Yeah, it's on the mainland. We've actually been there before, just not the private part. So yeah, I think we're gonna go back now, put on some more suitable clothes like swimwear and head there. So we're at pretty much the far end of Karong Karong. The guy said for us to meet his security guy at this bridge here, I think. So we don't know who we're looking for, but yeah, we'll try and find him. So this is a boat here, little boat. We sit here? Yeah. Yeah? Me here? Yeah. Okay. I guess this is our last boat trip. Yeah. Mm. Oh, for now. Not even planned. Not even planned. Yeah, it was a nice surprise. Yeah, nice surprise. Shame about the, the weather though. So this beach is Lapos Lapos. We kayaked here once before. And this is the property of the guy, right? Yeah, I think so. Wow, this is crazy. It's like on top of the the limestone cliffs. Got the guard dog. They're, they're good guard dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, which way, right or uh, upstairs? upstairs? Yep. Ah, nice. This is like the restaurant. Yes, sir. Very nice. Wow, look at the view. You get a good view. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is a good view. Even without the sun, right? Look at that color. Just There's want to ask your signature, sir. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's another view deck here as well. Oh, we check out this little table. <laughs> this is super cool. We should have brought some drinks. Yeah, wow. 
look at this. Yeah, what a view. Look, look at this for a viewpoint, guys. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we actually came here ages ago. I think it was our first ever kayak trip. Yeah, our first ever one, so this was the first beach called Lapus Lapus. It's actually a private beach. At that time, uh, I remember we came past and just asked the locals if we could stop here and they said, okay. But that was on the other side. We had no idea all this was around here. Uh, it's like a private residence. I don't even think it's on Airbnb. I think it's just where they stay, like a homestay for them. So yeah, I think pretty much nobody comes here at all. And that's why we got that security guard there. He's heavily armed, right? So yeah, he's protecting this place because yeah, maybe uh, quite a lot of people would want to come here. So they even have some more little shacks here and yeah you also get an awesome balcony view and then I think there's also stairs up here oh this is a toilet <laughs> what's this way you can go to the beach by that path oh down here yeah okay well maybe they they will build a pool here. A swimming pool? I don't know. Looks like it, right? Yeah. Oh, check this out. Wow, that would be amazing. Yeah, that would be amazing. Overlooking this. Is that as far as it goes? Yes, I think so. You can jump if you want. Well, and die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've been around this kind of scenery a lot of the time, but I don't think I've ever seen a pool built in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> Got some chairs there as well, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, let's head back. So it's time to enter the waters of El Nido for the last time. I don't think we'll be here within a year from now with COVID and everything. So, so I remember when we came here last time, the water was insane in the sun. It still is. Yeah, it still is insane. <laughs> Yeah, and here we're not going to do it today, but there's some amazing snorkeling here as well. It's going to be so weird not being able to see this kind of scenery yeah. for so long. I don't think it's really hit me yet. No, yeah, maybe even when we got when we arrive in Portugal, it's going to take I don't know a week or two weeks first. to adapt. Yeah, to adapt. Yeah, and I think we're so. We're definitely going to miss this because we love. We love El Nido and we love this kind of beauty. But it's time to move on and hopefully we'll be back next year. I don't know. Yeah, at least in the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we get to see more things like this next year. back up to the viewpoint I was hoping to get the sunset from over here but I'm not sure if we're gonna get one there's quite a lot of clouds today we are leaving at 6 15 though and I think the sunset gets good around 6 30 maybe yeah, with the color. but the owner did mention that this is a great uh, spot for the sunset this viewpoint so yeah that's exactly why they build it here This is 
gonna be it for this video. It's just so difficult to put into words uh, what this trip's been like, being locked down here, being in El Nido for six or seven months, is it? Yeah, yeah. so I think we, we kind of made it uh, feel like home. We never had like a physical home, a house here, but the feeling of being home, we had this feeling. And yeah. when we went to Puerto Princes or other places and we came back to El Nido, we were like, okay, now we're home. <laughs> yeah, it always felt like we were coming home from our little trips. And we've just done so much. It's just so crazy how much El Nido has to offer. A lot of people just come here for the island hopping. And obviously during all these months, we haven't been able to do island hopping and we still made a million travel videos pretty much always of new places, right? Yes, uh -huh. Just yeah, there's there's a lot to see and there's a lot to do and we, we wish we had done the the boat tours but we're still not allowed to do them but uh, we still even though we didn't do the boat tours we had a great time and definitely memorable and we know that we're gonna be telling this this adventures to our uh, kids and grandkids maybe <laughs> and especially the last month we've had so many crazy opportunities like staying on the private island. Uh, the helicopter ride. Yeah, way crazier experiences than we've had in a lot of other countries, I think, especially the the last month. Yeah. Yeah, it's just been unbelievable. And obviously we're gonna remember this forever. And there are more videos to come. We're gonna be heading to Manila. So we have a few videos from there. We gotta get like COVID tests and stuff. So gonna try and film that. And uh, yeah, I'll be fl filming the flight to Manila and also the flight from Manila to Portugal when we go there, so. Yeah, there's all that to come. Yeah, we miss El Nido already. And we yeah. know it's gonna be hard, but yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, we are pretty pretty sad to be leaving. Like I said before, it hasn't really sunk in yet that we're, that we're leaving. It's gonna be super weird, but yeah, the time has come to go. And hopefully we'll be back uh, not too long in the future. And I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos from here. I know some of you have mentioned that it's really been helping you with the lockdown and helping you dream of travel again whenever things get more back to normal and open up. So yeah, it's just been great hearing those messages and knowing that it is helping people to dream on. So um, yeah, just always uh, drop a like on the video to support us. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.